Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all well. Welcome back. What I'm going to be doing in this video is quickly talking about what kind of kit and equipment I take when I'm wild camping. Hopefully it will help all of you wild campers. What I've been doing over the years is I've been learning from other people, learning from experiences from when I was in the army. And most of all, you try and learn from your mistakes. No one is perfect. I go off the two C's, comfort and confidence. These are the two things that you need to have in your kit. Okay, what I'm gonna do is first is talk about what kind of clothing and footwear you should be wearing. These are the boots I use, Mendel's. Good, good boots, I like them a lot. They're breathable, waterproof, good grip on the bottoms. Yes, fully recommend these. Depending on the weather, you need to make sure you've got the right kind of waterproof equipment. This is the jacket I use. It is a company from Through Dark. It's an ex Special Forces company that's uh, really good equipment. These are the bottoms as well, Through Dark. You could be wearing shorts, it all depends on the weather. Uh, waterproof pants. I very rarely wear these ones, only if it is chucking it down, but they kind of make your, your bottom sweat a lot. So I very rarely wear these. Okay, moving on to the jackets. The Montean Summer Jacket. These are really good. The downs, they really scrunch down really well. So they save a lot of space. These are the kind of jackets you need for the summer time. Okay, moving on to the winter. Here's a, a really good jacket. It's from Rob. It's just like wearing a big slim bag. <laughs> yeah, really nice. What I'm going to do now is quickly move on to the tents. What we've got here is a three-man no face tent and we've got a two-man birdhouse tent. What I do is, if I'm going to be going up any summits, I use a two-man tent because it's a lot lighter. But if I'm just going to be having a nice casual day out, not doing any summits, I'll use the three-man tent because the amount of space you've got in this, it's, uh, it's, it's a good tent. Okay, moving quickly on. What we've got here is a personalised first aid kit, essential. Got a multi tool, alcohol gel, got a little towel, travel towel. We've got some summer gloves, no face. We've got some winter gloves, rab, good pair of gloves. What we've got here is a drone, I'll call it flea. A lot of people don't like drones, but one thing is they get good shots, they get good videos. And another thing is they could save your life. Worst case scenario, if you fell down a hole, you could send that drone up and get the attention of the mountain rescue people. What I do for navigation is I use four methods. First one, compass. Second one is map, make sure it's waterproofed. I've got a Garmin smartwatch. You can get six figure grid references off this. Also, I've got this cool device. It's called a Garmin InReach Mini. I'm gonna be doing a video about this in another video. Great piece of kit. Okay guys, with the water, what I tend to use is a bay free purification system. So you use this and you can fill up the other water carriers. You've got this and you've also got your bladder. These go inside your rucksack and you can drink on the move. Fully recommend getting one of these. Okay, what we've got here is a no disc kind of slipper type. There's nothing better than getting your boots off, 
and getting your, your feet into something comfortable like this. They've got a good insole as well. You've got spare socks, your females, always good to wear females in your sleeping bag. Your spare top. What I do for cooking is I use a jet boil. Love these, really good piece of kit. With your food, make sure you've got plenty of food, even a bit more, just in case there's an emergency, you're stuck in some kind of storm. What we've got here is a Pathfinder light. It's a cool little fold-out chair. Yeah, I like it. Another thing, if you're caught out in a storm, some skiing goggles, so you can see where you're going, navigate a bit more easy. What I've got here is a power bank. It's nothing worse than running out of juice when you're out and about. Just a low alpine hat. Head torch. Make sure you've got plenty of batteries for it. This one's a chargeable one. It's quite decent. Insect repellent, especially in Scotland. <laughs> also a head net. These are the kind of things you need to think about. What we've got here is a little plastic trowel. Inflatable pillar, bit of luxury for you. Got an inflatable mattress. What we've got here is a heat mat. These are great. You put this underneath your inflatable mattress and that produces the heat. That's gonna help you keep warm during the night. What we've got here is some rope, just in case of emergency, if anyone's fell down a hole or anything. And what we've got here is some waterproof bags. I know on your rucksack you've got the pull-out waterproof cover, but it's always good to make sure all your stuff inside your rucksack is waterproof. These are from Osprey, really good. What we've got here is a Rob sleeping bag. It's a Ascent 900, really good piece of kit. It goes down to about minus 20, 25, so yeah, fully recommend them. And also, the last item is the Osprey rucksack. This one is 100 litres, so you can get your world in there, everything. Really, really nice. And the cool thing about this is this top flap, it detaches and the straps come out and it makes like a little day sack. So Osprey, thumbs up for that. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching and hopefully I'm going to help the new wild campers. But before I go, I had to get the start of the show in. Alfie, come here. Come here, boy. <laughs> Say hello. Speak. Whoa. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. So until the next time, peace out. <laughs>